Okay guys, um, today I will show you how to use Installus, that's right there, and also how to get some of these other things like MX Tube and like all these Game Boy crap and yeah, just all that stuff. So first to get Installus, you want just want to open up Cydia right there. Just open up Cydia. Sorry, it just has to load. Okay, it's should be almost okay, there we go. So once it's done loading, just go to search. Click right there. And then type in install us. So then, oh, sorry, my bad. First, you got to cancel out. Just cancel out of that. Oh, sorry, but see that source right there? You have to add that source. <coughs> I'll put the source in the video description link so you can see this a lot better. But. Yeah. Okay, so what you want to do, just click the X, click search, I guess, and then go to manage, sources, and then that source, click edit, add, and then type in Cydia, C Y D I A dot sorry okay. c y d i a dot hack you plus dot com uh, I think I got that yeah hack you no hack you low dot u s sorry my bad cdia dot hack you low dot u s then you go to here type in install this <laughs> And then you just click on install us. Click right there, click download, and then click install, all that stuff. And then just press your little home button. Then you should get this icon somewhere. It'll probably be on your last page. If it was me, it'd be right there. And just click on install us. This thing will pop up. And then you can browse, you can browse or search. I'm gonna search, I'm gonna search for. Um. Cube Runner. So, Cube Runner. And then search. And then sometimes it'll do this and then it'll go straight to there. Guess I spelled it wrong or something. So go back to home. Go to search. Oh, I think I need a space. So. Let's just delete all that for a second. Cube runner. Then search it. And then Cube Runner 2, right there. Click on that. <coughs> and then you'll see this. You just scroll all the way down. Want to click on the newest version of the thing. And then most of the time I like in this apps because it's pretty good. And then there's App Scene. That's pretty good too. But in this apps, you know, that's always helped me out. But I guess right now it's down. So, I'll just go to App Scene right now. Good. 
Alright, but you, see, you get the thing, you get it, you open up the th uh, thing, there's a button that says click download, <coughs> then you click the downloads button right there, right there, then you just click on something, you install it, and then it'll install, and it's all good. So once it's done installing, it'll be down at the like first open space that it has that you can use. <coughs> so I'll just do that. But w as soon as it's done downloading, this thing will pop up right there. Can't really see it on mine, but it's a little circle thing. It means it's busy. Wait until that busy thing is done then click the home button. It's still busy for me, so... Oh, and if you want to get stuff onto iTunes, just click on iTunes Sync, and next time you go on your iPod or iTunes thing, then it'll change it to there. Click the home button. Then, the new thing you got will be right here. Just open it up. And it is right there and ready to use so thanks for watching uh, subscribe